Telehealth is the use of any remote telecommunications technology to diagnose and manage health conditions. And so while we don't typically think of telehealth as making a quick phone call to a patient, it's most typically a full evaluation and management of a patient using telecommunications technology. So telehealth has been around for a long time. In fact, the Medicare program has reimbursed telehealth for about 20 years, but up until March 2020, it's barely been used, largely because of regulation around how it could be used. Uh, patients had to be in specific areas, such as in rural areas, and they couldn't connect from home. They actually had to go to a medical facility in order to connect. So in the spring of 2020, there were big changes that occurred that allowed telehealth to flourish. And there was also a strong need for social distancing during that time too. And as a result of that, telehealth became a substitute for in-person care, and we saw the numbers surge. For example, at Michigan Medicine, we were performing about 400 video consultations leading up to March 2020. In April of 2020, we performed 40,000. So that's how big the change was. Early on, we saw that there was a need to study telehealth and to bring health services researchers into the fold. And so the telehealth research incubator started in 2018. And IHPI has been incredibly supportive. They've provided in-kind support, project management support, uh, data analysis support, and other resources to help us uh, produce and also disseminate our research to stakeholders and policymakers across the country. We're excited that we were ahead of the curve and on the leading edge of evaluating telehealth and helping to understand how can it improve care for what types of patients is it most beneficial and how does it affect pa patients' use of services and their health outcomes. And so we're very much in the, in the midst of that important work and it's continuing to grow uh, as the health system adapts to returning to in-person care, but also continuing some of the telehealth services that developed earlier during the pandemic. Now we know that almost 20% of care is through telehealth. It's gonna have a big impact on how healthcare is delivered. It's gonna have a big impact on national healthcare spending. And so um, our, to the telehealth research incubator is focused on just that. It's focused on the population level impact of telehealth on overall healthcare spending, on overall access to care, and on quality of care.